<clears throat> Good afternoon. I'm Assistant Sheriff Christopher Darcy, and today I'm going to brief you about additional details as we know them about the officer involved shooting that occurred on Sunday, May 10th, 2020. This is OIS number eight for 2020, non fatal number five. Same time last year, OIS number seven and non fatal number five. Date, time, and type of call May 10th, 2020 at 7 18 p.m. Person with a gun call. The location of the OIS was 6555 Boulder Highway in the Siena Suites in Las Vegas, Nevada, 89122. It's located in the Southeast Area Command, and you can see the scene to my right. At the time of OIS, the shots were fired at approximately 7.54 p.m. Involved officers were, one, Sergeant Justin Diebold. He is 36 years old and has been with the LVMPD since 2005. In this incident, Sergeant Diebold was armed with a Glock 45, 9mm handgun equipped with a tactical light and optic sight. The investigation revealed he fired three rounds during this incident. Number two, Sergeant Stephen Trippis. He is 40 years old and has been with the LVMPD since 2005. In this incident, Sergeant Trippis was armed with a Glock 17, 9mm handgun equipped with a tactical light. The investigation revere, revealed he fired three rounds during this incident. Number three was Officer Brendan Hansen. He is 33 years old and has been with LVMPD since 2017. In this incident, Officer Hansen was armed with a Smith and, uh, Smith and Wesson MP15 rifle, 223 caliber equipped with an optic sight. The incident revealed he fired three rounds during this incident. Number four is Officer Daniel Lapola. He is 24 years old and has been with the LVMPD since 2017. In this incident, Officer Lapola was armed with a Remington shotgun 12 gauge. The investigation revealed he fired two slug rounds during the incident. Number five, Officer Austin Lee. He's 26 years old and has been with LVMPD since 2017. In this incident, Officer Lee was armed with a Glock 17 9 millimeter handgun equipped with a tactical light, and the investigation revealed he fired seven rounds during this incident. All officers are assigned to the Community Policing Division in the Southeast Area Command. We do have body-worn camera video of this incident, and we will show it at the conclusion of my remarks. The suspect, Jody Lucas. He is a 42-year-old white male adult, 5'9", 195 pounds. He is pictured to my right. You can see his photo. The suspect's weapon was a Humorex CO2 Steel Storm Uzi 177 caliber BB gun. And a second weapon was an H&K MP5 177 caliber BB gun submachine gun. The photos were on the screen. The investigation revealed that no rounds were fired by the suspect during this incident. Lucas's charges, assault with a deadly weapon on a protected person, four counts, assault with a deadly weapon, resist a police officer with a deadly weapon, and child endangerment, two counts. The details of the OIS. On Sunday, May 10th, 2020, at approximately 7.18 p.m., LVMPD dispatch received a call from security at the Siena Suites located at 6555 Boulder Highway. Security stated that a white male, who was later identified as Jody Lucas, was refusing to turn down his music. Security also stated that Lucas was intoxicated and ap appeared to be hiding a black item behind his back. At 7.27 p.m., security recalled LVMPD dispatch and updated that Lucas was now holding a firearm. During the initial investigation, detectives learned that prior to the officer's arrival, Lucas had aimed his firearm at one of the other residents. With this new information, dispatch updated the call to a STAR protocol and dispatched our air unit. Just as a reminder, the acronym STAR stands for Supervisor's Tactic for Armed Subject Response, the STAR protocol. The following criteria is needed to designate a call as a STAR protocol. There is credible information the suspect is armed with a firearm or other dangerous weapon, not simulated or unseen, and using it in a manner that can cause death or serious bodily injury. The subject is acting in a threatening manner with the weapon, and this will not include open carry subjects or pocket knives when carrying the weapon is the sole justification for the call. 
So the air unit arrived first and located Lucas on the third floor balcony that is directly in front of his apartment. The air unit advised that Lucas was standing on the balcony with nothing in his hands. For the next couple of minutes, Lucas walked in and out of his apartment several times before exiting with what appeared to be a submachine gun. Lucas pointed the firearm at the air unit and the air unit broadcast this information over the radio for the arriving patrol units. Lucas then walked back into his residence for a few minutes and then later stepped out into the balcony with nothing in his hands. While this was happening, Sergeant Diabold arrived and was waiting for additional patrol officers by the stairs to the second floor. When he heard Lucas say he was going to get a gun and shoot people. Sergeant Diabold assembled an immediate action team that included officers Lapola and Lee. The team of officers then moved to the third floor, several doors away from Lucas's apartment. Lucas had already walked back inside of his apartment by the time that team of officers reached the third floor. Officer Hansen deployed his rifle and set up in the building across from Lucas's apartment. Lucas came out of his apartment and went to the rail railing carrying a long firearm. He yelled something down to the people by the pool as he pointed the firearm at them. As this happened, Sergeant Diabold, Officer Lee, and Officer Lapola fired their weapons at Lucas. Lucas then turned and aimed his firearm at the officers. Lucas was hit multiple times in front of his apartment and took off running down the stairs. Officer Hansen also fired at Lucas from his position. Lucas ran down to the ground floor and came around the corner of the building. As Lucas was running, Sergeant Trippis was just arriving on the scene and ran towards the sound of the gunfire. As Lucas came running around the corner of the building, Sergeant Trippis fired at Lucas, striking him several times. Lucas fell to the ground and was taken into custody. Officers immediately started life-saving measures and applied two tourniquets on Lucas. Lucas was then transported to Sunrise Trauma where he's currently listed in critical condition. Lucas has been booked in abstentia for the aforementioned charges. I will now show body-worn camera video of this officer involved shooting. Air two. And the advisor has a submachine gun type weapon, it looks like, pointed towards, right towards us. It's still a photo, obviously, from the helicopter, our air unit video. All right, he's got the gun in his hand again. He's uh, pointing it. There are two shots may have been fired. He just dropped the gun and ducked down uh, south of, running south towards the south stairway. Fire. Copy, shots fired. Oh, no, we're moving up right now. I need everybody to go. Shut up. He's by the window. He's by the door. He just ran down the south stairwell. He's down the, the bottom floor of the south stairwell. Hey, right over there, dude. Hey, we have units heading down that way. Watch your fire, please. I got you, I got you. 